So the next thing that we're going to do is take this and we're going to uh, duplicate it. All right. Now one thing I probably could have done was uh, not put the uh, front face in there when I'm duplicating so it doesn't reverse on it. So I'll have to end up erasing that. But I'm going to go to image after we've duplicated and we're going to um, Let's see, go to edit, transform, flip horizontal. And kind of match that up as best we can with the other one. If you need to, again, turn the opacity down to get it kind of lined up with the other one. And again, you can see my face is crooked. Most people do does have a little bit of uh, unevenness in their face. And I'm just going to use the eraser to kind of erase that bit there. Your tool out. And I'm going to increase the size of this bit. Just about there. And any blending you need to do, obviously, you can um, use the clone and stamp tool to kind of clean up some areas on both sides. Try to avoid any dark areas if you can. Other than that, this mess down that, that we have down here where we really want to kind of clone and clean that area up, um, that looks pretty good for us. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and move both of these images over just a little bit more so that they're more on the canvas. As a matter of fact, I'm going to shrink these down just a bit. Command T. And move them over. And that looks pretty good for our face map. Um, again, do the adjustments that you need. Uh, obviously, take better pictures. You can see how low resolution this is compared to the higher resolution here. iPhone camera versus the um, native app in the Mac OS photo booth. Uh, quite a bit of difference here in terms of that and the lighting and stuff like that. And that's what you have. And so what you will do then is um, you can either combine these two layers just to make it one image, or I believe uh, if you just go to... Um, save as okay. and label what you want face map and we want to save this again as a ping file okay. and save that to wherever you want to save it to I'm going to save it to the uh, um, self portrait that I've been working in and click save okay Right, and so there we have it, um, saved and ready to go. I uh, hope this helps you kind of get your face map ready to go, and in the next tutorial we will um, learn how to um, use the uh, magnet tool to align the UVs to the face map that you just created.